Yeah, it did play out really well for us. We we knew we were going to have to play a lot of guys. We were going to play uh, a lot of younger players, redshirt freshmen and stuff, uh, a lot of newer players, but then a ton of true freshmen. And that's something that uh, we know we have to do. You know that we, our depth is our young players, and uh, um, pleased with those guys. I think did some hit some home runs on the recruiting class because there's a lot of young kids that played for us but uh, uh, they're gonna have to play for us throughout the year somewhere along the line so I was excited for those guys to get some reps I thought it was I thought it was really sharp really good he got hit on the one that got intercepted um, and uh, I, you know not, not looking at all of it he just was totally in command the, the long play to RJ he saw the pressure. He made the protection check. Uh, everything you wanted to do, they they still were bringing people. He gave RJ time to get open uh, and laid a perfect ball to him. Him taking the shot to Jaden right off the bat, I thought was a, you know we were really trying to set up a, a, a kind of a, a corner route to fill, um, but he saw Jaden get on top and he threw a strike. And I was so happy for Jaden to be able to um, capitalize on that opportunity. So I thought Will played exceptionally well. Just was not available today. He got nicked up in practice earlier this week. It's not severe, um, and you know we'll kind of be day by day with him. It works all the time in practice, so it was uh, kind of fun to to see. And Treshawn throws the ball really well, and uh, so when he called it, they had been over pursuing so much that I really thought it was going to work. Um, and we've I've seen it a lot of times in practice. So I, I felt comfortable with the call, and it was the right time for the call. Um, and so it was, it was a great call by CK. Um, I, I had him suspended for a game. Um, Sieg's is going to be our starting free safety next week. Um, and uh, excited for Sieg's because um, um, he's a really good football player, and he'll, he'll get a chance to play next week. Trishon, one part of the QB2 battle? Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll probably keep him doing what he's doing, but uh, I thought uh, it was good to see Treshawn, good to see DJ. You know, DJ quietly had a buck and a quarter or something rushing, um, but I thought he ran physical uh, like he always does. And, and so we need both of those guys playing at a really high level for us in our run game. You know, uh, I thought number one was a really good receiver for them. I was pleased with Jacob Parrish. Uh, he, I think he gave up one, one play. Um, but uh, he battled, uh, came up with some big tackles. I think Jacob Paris learned a lot last year from those two uh, NFL guys and Julius and Echo, and I think he's going to have a great season. Will Lee playing his first snaps for us, I thought did some really good things. Keenan Garber keeps getting better and better. So those three guys rotated a lot and uh, played a lot, and I, and I feel comfortable about our depth there. Yeah, it took you guys long enough to ask about that. Uh, <laughs> I thought that would have been right out of the gate. But uh, CK and I talked about it on Friday, uh, some different scenarios um, that would play out. And, and if the situation played out, we wanted to give Avery um, some some solid series where we could evaluate him, give him an opportunity to run the offense where it wasn't just a drive, where it was going to be a, a handful of drives. Uh, I, you know, He was under control. He was in command. Um, he's really, really fast, and I think you guys can tell that. He's, he's uh, got great, great speed. Um, he, I thought he put the ball in a couple of really good spots uh, today You know, to uh, Jace Brown, true freshman, to Trey Spivey, true freshman. Um, so I thought he did some really good things. We'll kind of evaluate and see um, you know, how, how he did, CK will. But I, I was so happy with Avery, so pleased for him to be able to get in the end zone in his first game. Uh, and, and there's no doubt you could hear the ovation when he came in. Kenny told me we played 77 players. It, it's awesome for us to be able to uh, tomorrow uh, spend the whole day basically really looking at those reps to see are we getting the, uh, the right guys the, the enough reps or do we need to move some people around special teams wise with all the reps we have. But uh, those kids have worked so hard in fall camp they deserve to play. Yeah, Uso got a chance to play. We didn't know if he would be able to play. And so, you know, we were able to rotate He Banks and, and Damian. And, and it's great to keep all three of those guys fresh because all three of those guys are playmakers.